And now here to tell us more about that IS murder video is Wasim Nasser. He's a France 24 expert on jihadi movements. Hello, Wasim. Now, mm -hmm. unlike previous videos released by the IS group, the latest one shows the faces of many of the jihadis. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Of course, it's the first time that we see this kind of uh, mass execution. And it's the first time that uh, they act uh, officially between brackets. Uh, without any masks. And there's two messages in this. It is to show uh, the world that they are not afraid, so the international coalition, but also the, the Syrian regime, that they're not afraid. And the other aspect of this is to show the world also that they have many ethnicities among the soldiers. We see the people from Asia, Europeans, uh, Arabs, and this is really the aim, to show that they don't believe in ethnicities, they don't believe in nationalities, and that they their banner is really and only uh, only Islam. So uh, it shows that they are very, very determined. It shows that they're not scared. But we have to notice also that uh, the one known as uh, Jihadi John, the British, uh, the British Jihadi, uh, still uh, has a mask. And there's also many reasons for this. It, he still has his mask because uh, he knows that he's a real target for the coalition, so for U.S. drones, but also because this uh, black outfit, this black mask, uh, speaks to our uh, to the deepest fears of the public opinion in the West. So there's al always many messages in their video, and today these are really the important messages that they want to uh, show. Now, you mentioned mass killings. Just to clear things up for our viewers, in this particular video, you don't just see uh, the murder of a U.S. aid worker, but also several Syrians being killed. Of course. Actually, we don't see the the, the killing of the U.S. aid worker. We just see his head uh, next to the feet of his, uh, of his uh, killer. But we see them uh, cutting the throats of 18 uh, pilots. They are, not, uh, they are not only soldiers. They are pilots on the Syrian Air Force. And why? Because they want to show us, or they want to show the world, that uh, the American citizen, which is a former uh, soldier who, were, who was in Fallujah. Fallujah is a city in Iraq which is full of meaning because many big battles between the U.S. and the jihadis at the time uh, were in Fallujah. So this is very symbolic for them. And to show that this soldier that was in Fallujah at one point uh, of the time is uh, the same as the uh, US pilot, as the Syrian pilots who are bombing the Syrians since four years. This is a message to the Syrians to tell them that the coalition is on the side of Bashar al-Assad today. This is their aim because it's always, uh, there's always a propaganda aim behind uh, their videos. What state would you say the group is in right now? Because recently America's top general said that the momentum was turning against Islamic State militants. We are hearing this since many weeks, but actually on the ground, they are still progressing in Iraq. Today, they are handling like more than 85% of Anbar. They just took today two towns, Baghdadi uh, and another town next to it. We heard a lot about Beji, that uh, the uh, Iraqi uh, security forces took back Beji. It's the eighth time we hear that they took back Beji, but still the Islamic State won this latest battle yesterday. So uh, maybe in Syria, they are not progressing. Maybe in Kobani or in Al-Arab, uh, they were stopped, but they are still progressing in Iraq, and they are using uh, the, the, the stagnation of the situation uh, in their propaganda, because they are saying, look, we have 62 countries uh, against our, uh, our jihadi groups, we have billions of dollars invested in this, but they think that they are standing against the world alone and against the world. And this is really in the heart of the jihadi ideology since the days of Al-Qaeda. And just in a word, it seems they're not having any trouble still recruiting people from abroad then. Of course, still still people are joining them. Many people are joining them, and not only from the West, from all over the world. And even we shouldn't forget that 80% of their soldiers, or even more 90% of their soldiers, are locals. They are Iraqi Sunnis and Syrian Sunnis. So this, uh, this Islamic State is, before everything, a product of the region because of... Uh, many uh, injustices that, they, that the people there uh, suffered from since decades. Okay, thank you very much indeed for that analysis, Wasim.